Hello YouTube, uh, here for my third video and my third gun. Finally got in the uh, Smith & Wesson MMP Shield. Uh, got it about a month ago. I haven't really had time to make a video for it, but I'm doing it now. Here it is. Shot it a couple times now. It's uh, Still got to get used to it a little bit, but I like the way it feels. I feel like... Uh, I will get more accurate with this gun the more I shoot it. Just used to my other two firearms right now, so every time I go to the range, gonna definitely bring this one. But anyway, it comes with two magazines. Well, safety check at first, but this is the uh, seven round magazine. So flush bottom fits right flush with the uh, underneath of the grip here. Nothing in the chamber. Also comes with an eight round magazine, which you can see, pinky, definitely rides right on top of it. Perfect fit for my hand. Let's see with seven round or my pinky will go underneath it. I've been shooting it with the seven round magazine. Um, Whenever I'm at the range, when I'm carrying, just trying to get used to that 7-round magazine. It's just a lot easier to conceal. Makes the gun a lot smaller. But always nice to have an extra magazine with you. Okay, taking it apart. Very simple, a lot easier than my other firearms. Cock it back. Uh, take down lever. Push it down. That's it. Pull the trigger and it comes off. Um, that's one way to take it apart. The other way is uh, cocking it back. Then you'll see uh, inside here in, in the mag well there will be a lever that you'll have to push down. In my gun, the color of it is yellow, so very hard to miss. Here, I'm using this small screwdriver here. Um, just gonna go in there, flick it down. And you can see it's that squiggly um, metal lever there that I push down. Once that's down, then you can uh, put the takedown lever facing down. slide will come right off without pulling the trigger. So that's the other way you can do it. Um, I don't know. I haven't had this gun for that long. I like the method of just pulling the trigger. It's a lot quicker. But this is the other way you can do it. And then, of course, when you put it back, it's another step again when when doing, doing it this way. But you got to put the lever back up. That's it. But I'll take it apart again, doing it the way I do it, which is just pushing back, lever down, forward, pull the trigger, comes off. To me, that's the easiest way. Um, so the frame is there, guide rod comes out, barrel comes out, there's a the slide. It's as simple as that. Can't get any easier, really. Putting back. Barrel right back where it was. Guide rod. Back in. Slide back on. Lever up. That's it. So, that's pretty much it on this one. Uh, pretty simple. Cool little gun. This one has a manual safety on it, which uh, I believe most of these do come with the manual safety. Uh, I think it's pretty rare um, that you find, find these type without them. I know the full size, a lot of them come without them, and it's harder to find 
find them with the safeties, but I think it's the opposite with the shields. Uh, now that I, I think of it, it's probably better without one, in my opinion. Um, just having it as just an extra mechanism on the gun that you gotta worry about, which, you know, I feel like really don't need that, but it's there if you like it. So, I have it. I usually don't keep the safety on, but it's there. So, um, it's pretty much pretty much it on uh, on this gun. Um, I'll be keeping you guys updated with any new stuff that I get in. Is my third gun probably gonna be my third for a while? But uh, once I get something else, I'll uh, I'll let you guys know. But hope you learned a little something from this video. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.